away or spot and stalk stalking walking whatever you want to call it I really struggle to sit for long periods of time um, I have certain spots where I I know deer are constantly moving to and from and I'll sit there for longer. And I know people that swear by sitting and waiting. Obviously you're not moving around, you're not making sound, you're just waiting for the deer to move into your bath. So to sort of combat that, I combine my day with sitting and waiting and stalking spotting. I start off in the mornings where the deer usually are on the move. And I'll start off with about a 45 minute, an hour sit and wait in a spot that I think is going to be productive. I'll then walk for 15 minutes, half an hour to another spot or in the same gully a bit further on and then I'll wait for 45 minutes, half an hour, and do another sit. And I sort of progress along during the day until my walking and stalking is longer and my sitting and waiting is 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And that usually takes me up until 10 o'clock-ish. And then I am the majority of the time slowly making my way back to camp which is just a, a slow walk and stalk or spot and stalk if you want to call it and then of an afternoon I do the same pattern but I flip it and I do it in reverse so I'll walk and stalk or spot and stalk however you want to call it with a short sit and then I'll move again and then my sit will be a bit longer half an hour and I'll slowly build that up until I am in that sort of spot I do want to be in for last light and then it's a, an hour sit an hour and a half or two hour sit whichever you sort of want to push yourself to so that's how I sort of make my day up with walking spotting sitting and waiting it's, it's sort of the best of both worlds for me but sitting in one spot for six hours or however long some blokes do it yeah it might work and and it does work like there are definitely spots where you do sit and you know the deer are going to come past or the game but yeah i just really struggle to sit for those extended periods of time so um, that's sort of how i mix it up and my days work and hopefully someone else might incorporate it into their hunting regime and it might work for you guys sitting and waiting or sorting and stalking. Sitting and waiting you sort of want to do in a bit of a transit zone or you know there's a scrape or a wallow or you know somewhere where they are moving through whereas spotting and stalking I do prefer to do in a big open native or the complete opposite, a real tight pine section because a real tight pine section during the day is where they're going to be bedded up and hiding and just feeding on those fringe little pockets within them. Uh, open native, you can see large distances, long distances, so that helps your sort of spotting aspect. But for the sit and waits, try to target those, those transit zones, those creek crossings, those game trails that are well used because they're the zones that they're going to be moving through. Just something to add on that.